Okay, uh, I need to do a quick video here of how I have my H, uh, HRD running on uh, ICOM 7300. So I'll walk you through the menu settings I have. Let's go to set. Okay, we've got under connections. Um, let's see, data mode is set to USB. Okay. Um, there's a glimpse of some of the stuff I have, how it's set. Okay, I'll put level. Okay, let's go down. Okay. Okay, you want your USB serial function, CIV. Okay, USB send RTS. DTR, DTR. So that's how that's set. So what you want to do is click on CIB. This is how mine's running. So let me run through the settings here. Uh, my baud rate is 19.2, uh, 94H, CIV transceive on, remote transceive addy, um, output off. Uh, it's tough to see that. The CIV USB port is link to remote. You want that set to link to remote. Uh, baud rate, CIV uh, USB baud rate I have set 115200. Um, seems to work fine. Uh, USB echo back off. So that's what's set. This is this is an important one though. This is uh, you want it linked to remote. If you're running November one mic mic, that has to be set to unlink from remote. So make sure you pay attention to that. And okay, I believe that's it for the transceiver. So let's get uh, HD SDR up and running. Or I'm sorry, HRD. Let's get HRD up and going. Okay, so it's going to open up everything. Okay. So let's go up here. Let's go to Tools. Tools. Programs. No, that's not what we want. Um, hmm. Program options. Let's go to program options. So let's run through. I'll show you exactly what this looks like. Starting up here, InfoCat support. So I have my radio, the 7300, needs to run on the IC7700 profile. Make sure you select that. Um, comms. And take a look at that. See how that's set up. Comport TX, see how this is set up. Comport pin, this is unchecked. Right here. Uh, what else we got? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Did the cat support? Uh, come calibration, you can calibrate your uh, S meter, stuff like that there. But uh, that should be Comport TX. Yes. So I don't know if that matters. I think it's more important to get the um, the transceiver set up properly. So hopefully that helps, and it should it should just work. Uh, you'll see I can spin the knob on the radio. Uh, changes the frequency. Uh, let's get out of here. And you can change the uh, band. Notice the band will switch. Uh, you should have full mode control there. Uh, rig control. Okay, that's it. Hope that helps. Uh, that's all I got. That's what I did. 7-3.